Yeah, my name is Steve Carroll. I'm here in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, this is my own house. Uh, give you a little quick background. So here we have a picture of our 312 pitch concrete roof. So uh, the span is about 20 feet and then you've got two foot overhang everywhere. The, the different color of foam that you see up there, which is about 12 inches wide by probably 12 inches deep, is in essence our, our ridge beam. It's just made out of concrete. And then what we did is we took the build deck uh, straight up to it on a 312 pitch and uh, took our beam rebar straight through that beam and bent it down into the other side. So we did that on both sides, so everything's tied together. The rebar coming out of the walls is all bent to uh, 312 pitch. Uh, so everywhere that you see, it's all tied in. All the roofs, all the concrete roofs are all tied into the walls with number six rebar bent on a 312 pitch. I call them candy canes. So what we did is we used a rebar bent like a candy cane and we tied it into the uh, beam steel. And then that's what gave us our rebar for our overhangs. So in essence, we had a, 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 a it looks exactly like a candy cane. And then we tied a horizontal rebar to that candy cane. And that's what gave us the, the steel for the overhang. And uh, so what we did is we did them in 12 foot sections. So in essence, we would do a 12 foot section. We'd skip a section and then we'd come do another 12 foot section. And then we'd come back a week later and fill in the gaps and do the next 12 foot section. And then we did the whole garage gables and all, all in one section. And what, what you see there is, uh, is actually an elastomeric paint that I'm putting to seal the concrete roof deck. Uh, that's only got one coat on it. It gets two to three coats uh, put on it and it will last probably uh, five to ten years and then you can just go back up and, and recoat it. It's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, it's a good project for my teenage boys. Uh, to get up there and, and uh, roll the paint on. This is our main great room that houses the kitchen, uh, the dining room, one big room, it's 30 by 50. And what we did here is, even though it, it up there looks like a big wood beam, it's actually a steel beam that's uh, splitting the 30 foot span in half. So uh, that way we were able to, to have about a 15 foot span and split that distance. So what we did is we, uh, one winter, we took uh, about a thousand two by twelves, uh, two by six by 12 foot. We ship lapped them, we pre-stained them. That's what you see on the ceiling. And then we used four by eight hemlock every six foot. And, uh, and then we put our build deck on top of the ship lap. And uh, so our insulation is actually on top of our, our, our roof deck. And then that's what gave us you know, a, a nice strong roof. Now we still had to shore it and we used our shoring system with four by fours every six feet. Uh, so uh, uh, these four by eights all had four by fours under them. And then what we did is we also took a two by, two, uh, like a two by six and put it in the middle of the ship lap just to prevent any bowing when we poured that concrete. Um, like if we didn't have any movement whatsoever um, using our, our shoring system throughout the whole house. You know, if you were to peel everything off here, uh, you'd see one big rebar cage. But this is kind of, uh, this is my favorite room, obviously, just with the volume, the height, um, and, and, and all the beam work. So in essence, we did the same thing here. Uh, this is about uh, a 20 foot span. So um, we've got our four by eights every six foot. Um, we've got our tongue and groove, uh, you know, every bit of interior walls that we framed are non-load bearing. Mm -hmm. So everything's resting on the concrete walls. So somebody could come in here technically and say, I don't like this whole section. I'm going to take it all out. Technically we could take the beams out and it would be self-supporting. And so, um, uh, not that I want to do that. <laughs> I picked up the phone one Friday afternoon about 4:15 and I ended up uh, getting a hold of their technical director, Dennis Mykoff, and um, you know he was nice enough to spend almost an hour with me on the phone. And um, now to get to 2019, I've spent uh, the past three and a half years um, with a couple part-time guys uh, building a 7,200 square foot complete concrete home 
um, using all the build block products. We have uh, uh, radiant floors throughout. Um, all the walls are concrete up to the roof line. Uh, I went a little overboard, a little crazy, uh, but uh, my roofs are on a 312 pitch and they're all poured concrete roofs as well. So um, in essence, um, it, it, it kind of makes the house a, an F5 tornado proof home. So instead of having a safe room, in essence, I, I, I now have a safe house. 